Hello, hello everyone. It is Jackie with Pocket of Preschool and I wanted to pop on here real quick and show you the brand new clothing, math, and literacy centered um, unit. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So there are these fun, fine motor Play-Doh mats um, in this set. So there's all different clothing and you can use Play-Doh and you can also trace the word with a dry erase marker if you would like. There are also these um, pre-writing tracing mats. So to go with kind of the like um, silly sweater theme. So you can either put them in a dry erase pocket and they can trace them with a dry erase marker or laminate them and you can use them over and over or um, you can use it as a worksheet. So just practicing writing those different types of lines just in a fun way for a clothing theme. We also have this rhyme tie match up so they just match up the um, rhyme puzzles to create words that rhyme clock sock mouse house train rain cake snake um, and then we also have these um, clothing clip um, clothesline ABCs so what they do is they clip the clothespins to match the cards and you have two different options so you have these and you can also use these as um, tracing mats as well so they have the whole alphabet fill in. These have missing letters. So you pick which option you can do and you can make your own clothespin, letter clothespin, just by writing a letter on each clothespin. And then again, it's great fine motor when they're um, clipping onto the card and then there's worksheets with that as well. And then we have a fun um, sneaker shoe matchup. So there's three ways to play this. So you can match uppercase with uppercase. You can match uppercase with lowercase, or you can match letter and initial sound. And what I would suggest to do for this game is put all of the letter cards, the uppercase, um, in like a tray with the chains, and then put whatever other card you're matching with in like a little bucket, and they can find the match. So you could either match again, like I said, you can match the letter sounds, lowercase letters, or uppercase. And again, you can play this with different small groups um, to easily differentiate. And that one comes also with um, some worksheets. This game is super fun. So it is a laundry syllable game. So you just fold the little washing machines in half and then you grab a piece of clothing, cookie, and then they crumple it up just like you do when you put your clothes in the laundry and they put it in that washing machine. And then they have you know, two syllables. So it was two little detergents on there. So again, great fine motor because they have to crumple it up and uncrumple it. Um, and again, it comes with a worksheet. So that's a really fun one. And I like these little just white baskets because I figured they kind of look um, like laundry baskets for this theme. And then here is a giant clothing letter lineup. So you could play this game a few different ways. They can kind of match the outfit. So like they had, there's a sound, um, a uppercase and a lowercase, so they can match the outfit. You could also just have a match uppercase and lowercase, or you can have them match all three and then put them on the clothesline. And this is just like a rope um, that I had, some twine, and it has the other, other um, cards with it. So up to you how you guys want to play this game. And you guys know all of my games come with very um, a few options on different ways to play depending on um, your kiddos and just their level this year. Um, this is a clothesline matchup game. So you're um, they're ordering the socks from shortest to tallest. You could also put out some counting cubes and they could measure them. Or if you have littler ones, you could print out two of the socks and they could just match the socks and then put them on the clothesline. And I just um, put a hole punch and I put a piece of ribbon through to make like kind of like a little clothesline um, card. So that's really fun too. And again, the clotheslines are a great way to sneak in some fine motor and there is a um, cut and paste worksheet to go with that one. Whoops, you can see it. <laughs> to go with that one as well. Here are just some 10 frames. So it has all the different numbers and you can use buttons or pom-poms, whatever you would like to um, fill it in. You can trace the number with a dry erase marker. And again, a whole bunch of different cards are included. And if they don't know the number, there is a dice in the corner so they can um, 
count the dice to check the number or to see if they're right and then fill in that many numbers. Um, I found my buttons. These are just a whole bunch of different color buttons I found at Walmart. You could also use um, regular shape buttons if you have those in your classroom um, as well. So this is a number clothesline matchup. Um, and again, it comes two ways. So it has the numbers filled in and then they just clip the number on all the way up to 20 or there is a set of clothesline numbers with missing numbers. So they have to fill it in. And again, comes with um, a few different worksheets for you to choose from. This one are some shape button mats. So you can play these, again, a few different ways. So they can just sort the buttons um, on the different mats and then trace at the bottom. Or they could use Play-Doh to make the button. And these are just a whole bunch of shape buttons I have. And here are just a whole bunch of the different um, shape button mats. And then there's two different worksheets included with that one. And we have just um, some button patterns. So there's three different cards with the set. So there's this first one where they copy the pattern. I kicked it with my, um, <laughs> with my foot. Sorry about that, guys. I had it all set up for you. And then, <laughs> like I said, they just tr um, put the buttons on top to um, copy it. Or they can extend it. So... The cards look like this. So the but the pattern is started and then they just um, extend it. And then there are, is a worksheet to go with that one um, as well. <laughs> All right, moving on. Whew, I'm out of breath for some reason. Goodness. <laughs> um, so this is a really fun one. There's two ways to play this game um, or two levels rather. So this is a designer challenge <laughs> or a little design mat. So they pick two cards and there are either stars, circles, or lines and they can put those on the bottom and then like I just have some star mini erasers you can use star beads star buttons and then they would put three on there and then pick another one and they would design the little shirt and then I have this one done already or I did before um <laughs> I kicked it so um they just put that many on these are these stripes you guys are just cut up pipe cleaners so so simple but I think with all of the fashion forward little friends we have in the classroom. I think they would really love um, designing um, like a little design challenge. So again, they pick number of stripes, number of spots, and they add it to create that equation. Again, they can do the addition or the counting. And I did put a number line at, uh, um, for the counting game. That way, um, if they don't recognize the number, they can figure it out one, two, three, that's three, and they can put three on. And again, two different worksheets to go with that one. That one's, I think, one of my favorites for this unit. Although these clo clothesline matchups are really cute. So this is kind of like that one up there. Um, so that way, if they play it um, in the literacy game, that way they could play it again um, in a math version. Um, so that way you don't have to reteach direction. So again, you can play it this way where they're just kind of making an outfit. I have a domino hat um, to represent the number, the numeral, and then a 10 frame. And again, they do match with colors. Um, or they can get all the different pieces of the outfit and then clip it on a, um, like a little clothing line for, again, for some fun, fine motor and number order. And then we have our little um, worksheet to go with it. And then we have a laundry sort. So it comes with some clip art or some little clothing clip art. And then you have to sort it, you can either sort it by size, small, medium, and large. There's also a color sorting page, or you can sort by the type of weather. So this would be, um, you put this in the hot basket. If it's something you wear when it's hot, like this little swimsuit I would wear when it is hot. And then these are all the things that you would wear when it's cold. Um, these trays are from Target. Um, you can also get um, just like a red yellow, green, blue set, I think, from Lakeshore. Um, and then there are some worksheets to go with that. So this is the brand new clothing, math, and literacy centers. They're still half off. They're going to be half off until um, midnight tonight because I didn't have a chance to pop on here live and show them to you guys in action. And I love doing that for this game. Um, so the trays are from Target, or you can get them from Lakeshore. I'll tell you a little bit more, more about the manipulatives you can use. 
So you can just use some regular shape buttons you can have in your classroom or just some buttons. These are all the colored circle buttons I found at Walmart. And then these are just colored clothespins. I usually find them at Target. Michaels um, has some at Well, and again, use those 40% off coupons. And then I've also spray painted them. Like this one I spray painted. When I, um, when I spray paint them, I do put them on some kind of container. That way I can spray paint them from all, all angles. Um, so if you want to DIY it, you can do that too. Or maybe you have spray paint in the classroom. Totally works. But yeah, I just spray paint it on like a little container and it works awesome. So yeah. So I hope you guys love this clothing Math and Literacy Center set. It has been added to the theme centers bundle and the giant curriculum bundle. So if you don't need either of those, go ahead and um, grab your update. If not, you can grab it from my TBT store. The link is at the top. And you guys have an awesome day.